Hey guys, just gonna do some some Desmos work here. I'm gonna draw a flower just for uh, just for fun. Let's see what I can do here as far as um, different shapes. I'll start with a circle. I'm gonna put this in parentheses because I may want to move it later. So x squared plus y squared equals five. Let's say. Okay, I'm gonna change the color. Change it to orange. And I also want to shade it. I want, it, I want it, the inside of the circle to be shaded. So if I do less than 5, I'll get the inside of the circle. If I do less than or equal to, the outside colors in. Okay. I'm going to move that up a little bit. So I'm going to say y minus 5. I'm going to say, I want to move it left a little bit. So I'm going to say x plus 2. So x plus 4. That's good. I want this to be a little bit smaller. Actually, no, I kind of like it. It's a big sun. Eh. A little bit smaller, so I'm going to change this right here. Um, actually, I said I was going to do a flower, so let's keep it a flower. I'm going to keep that. You know what? I want to do another circle around it. So I'm going to make another circle here, but now I'm going to increase it. But this one I don't want to be less than. I don't want this one to be colored in. I just want that to be kind of around it. 4.3, 4.2. That's fine. What about... Another one here. See, every time I make this a little bit bigger, it gets a little bit bigger on my screen. That's good for now. We're center of a flower. Uh, I want to do some of the other functions we're talking about. Um, let me do a sine function for the ground. So y equals sine x. I don't want it to be that bumpy because the ground's not really that bumpy. So I'm going to do 0.5. I'm actually going to do 0.1. So now it kind of looks like ground, but and I'm going to change this color. Uh, green's good for ground. And I'm going to change this. I'm going to move it up a little bit. So I'm going to put y plus 2. Actually, I'll do y plus 1. And then I want the ground to be colored inside, under the ground. So I'm going to say y is less than. So now I have the ground here. Um, I actually want to move these circles up. So I'm going to do y minus 7, y minus 7 y minus 7. I'm going to make a line. I need a line for the stem here. So I want a line that uh, is vertical. And I know because of Vuxel, I know a vertical line is x equals something. I'll try x equals 2. And nah, that's not far enough over. I want, I'll say x equals negative 3. How about negative 5? How about negative 4.5? Negative 4.4. I want 4.3, 4.1. That's good. I want that line, but I, I want that chopped. I don't want that to be all over here and over here. So what I'm going to do is chop this. I'm going to say I want only when y is between 5 and about 1. So I'll say I want 1 to be less than 5, or sorry, less than y to be less than 5. Dang, got it there. Stems are green. So I'm going to do that. You know what, I want to make this a double stem, like kind of two uh, two lines. So I'm going to do that. I'll change that to green. And then I need to shift this over a little bit. So I'm going to say x equals negative 3.9. Okay, cool. That looks like a basic stem. I'm going to make a, uh, petals for this thing. Guys, you know what, I'm going to try to do an ellipse. Uh, ellipse is just like a circle. It's a lopsided circle. So I'm going to restart as x squared plus y squared equals 5, whatever I choose. Actually, with ellipses, you generally want to keep that as 1. The way you change the size is um, by going down here. So, whoa, notice I changed that one. It got... Uh, if I put a number under the x, it gets wider in the x direction. I bet if I put a number in front of the y, I'm going to change this, just make it 1. If I put a number under the y, I should say, whoa, it stretches in the horizontal direction. I, get some, I can get some petals this way. Um, let's see. So I want a an ellipse in this direction. I want it more in that direction. I want to say... A bit too big. Um, let's see here. 
You know what I do here? I'm going to get an ellipse. I'm going to cut it off. So I want this to be up a little ways. So I'm going to say, right, it's, it's the opposite, so y minus. And then I want to move it left a little bit. So I'll, I'll actually do x plus something. That's too much. How about that? It's a little smaller. A little smaller. That's fine, actually. I'm going to move it down a little bit. Not that much. It's a good, good reason to use decimals here, guys. Um, I do want to move it. That's fine. I'm going to make that green too because that's green. I, again, I want to color this in, so I'm going to do less than one. Cool. So I got that there. And I'm, I want to change this to solid because I don't want, or I got to change this to less than or equal to one in order to make it solid. I want another one of those, so I'm going to do a copy. Do this here, and I want this to get off that. I want to move it left, so I'm going to say plus 5. Okay, moved it left a little bit, plus 7, plus 6. That looks like it works. Cool, I want to change this to green. There you go, I got two, two petals there. Um, what can I do to cut those off? What if I said I wanted to cut them off right here? So I want these things, I don't want these petals to be all the way. I want to say y is less than 4. Sorry, y is greater than 4. Actually, that, I'm going to say y is greater than 3. How about 3.5? That looks good. I'm going to stick with that. And since that works for that one, should work for this one because I'm just chopping off in the x and uh, in the up and down direction. Dang, that looks good. It's a legit looking flower. What can I do under the ground here? Also, guys, if you have folders, uh, you can create folders and then put stuff in it. So I can say flower um, center. And then I can put this in there, this in there, this in there. And then I can say, close that up and then it's not in my way anymore. I can do flower stem. So I'm going to put that in here and that in here. Oops, sorry. So now it's in there. Stem, and I'm going to call it stem and leaves. So I can I can put these leaves in here also. So I don't have all this stuff bothering me. I can I can lock that in and, and kind of work from there. What else do I want to do with this? I know I need some other kind of functions. Um, I know I need an x cubed function, so a cubic function, which is y equals x to the third. How can I use this? Oh, maybe I'll use that as a root. Uh, in the ground, so I need to move this. I need to move this left. What I do in that case is, oops. Give myself space here. Ooh. If I move this over this way, ooh, it looks like I'm I'm getting close to having some roots here. I'm gonna change this to Control Z if you undo is undo, undoes a mistake if you accidentally do something. That's a decent root. Um, I'm going to stick with that. I need to put a restriction because I only want it to be below this. So I have to say y is below about 1.6. So I'm going to say I only want to see when y is less than 0 0.6. That's pretty good. I'll say 0 0.65, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.85, 0 0.9. That looks pretty good for a root. Actually, and I want to chop this off underground too. So I'm going to say I want negative 5 to be less than y, less than 9. That looks pretty good. I'm going to do a line off that. I'm going to kind of get creative with my roots here. And I'll make a folder and I'll call it roots. And then I can move this into it. And then anything else that I want, I can move into it as well. Um, Let's see, I'm going to say, I want a straight line coming down here. So vertical line is always x equals, so I'm going to say x equals negative 5. Bang, I got that there. I want to do this black also. But I want it only to show between here and, I don't know, say here. That would be fine for a root. So I want to say y is between 0 and negative 7. So the way I say that is um, y is between 0 
from negative 7 is, is 0, is less than y, is less than negative 7. X is, see what's going on here. Guys, I have to fix this here. I just want to make a uh, route that goes between about, I don't know, 1, actually 0 and negative 6. So I'm going to say 0 is less than, y is less than negative 6. What do I got? Oh, sorry. I, I have to switch this. I have to say negative 6, since that's a smaller one, is less than y is less than 0. Cool. We've got a little bit of another root here. Looks kind of weird, but um, I'll take it for now. That's fine. Um, I need another root that kind of looks like this. So I'm going to just steal this function. I'm going to load this one into root in the root folder. Notice when I close that out, those go away. Um, I'm going to copy and paste this and make another one of these here. But I don't want this one to look that way. I want it to look this way. And I also want it to shift. I have to have it shift left a little bit. So I'm going to say x minus 2. Whoa, that's too much. Minus 2. How about x plus 1? How about x plus 3? That looks pretty good. I'm going to stick with that one. Maybe I'll have this one go a little bit further down than the other one. So I'm going to start it. I can steal this restriction. I want this one to go a little bit further down. So I'm going to change this to negative 7. Um, but otherwise, it's the same. And I'm going to change this to black. Look like decent roots there. What else could I use? So I got rid of my cubic functions. Uh, let's see what else I can do. 